Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com, and it definitely feels good to be back. Though some of you are not going to believe this, it seems I have come down with some kind of cold. Like, really? I've been gone for three weeks, and now I get sick. But no matter. I got my chicken noodle, and unless I'm hospitalized, we are going to do this. And the thing that I keep hearing most about today is John Oliver. Because he had some words to say about televangelists. In fact, it was 20 minutes long, and I watched all of it because I love you guys. Though now that I've seen it, I really would have hoped that I would have watched it anyways. And I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I think most of us here are going to agree that the prosperity gospel is a con, and that's pretty much what he's saying. The whole idea that if you give me money, then you will get tons of money in return from God. Can't wait for the day that somebody takes everything I said out of context and makes a video. But this is really interesting to me because there are a lot of Christians that heard about this, and they're actually mad at John Oliver for being offensive towards Christians. Which, yeah, there's cursing in it. He doesn't seem to be Christian himself. Himself. But what he's talking about is not Christianity. It's this rip-off sham that they paint over with Christianity. This is always a band-aid that's really hard to rip because there are a lot of people who really believe that what they're doing is going to save them. In fact, in his video, John Oliver talks about a woman who didn't get treated for cancer because instead she put that money towards a televangelist who said that God would heal her if she donated enough. And so it can be really hard to tell people, hey, God's not gonna cure your cancer because you paid some televangelist money. Like, let's take for example, Paul. He wrote 13 letters in the Bible. He's about as Christian as you can get. He had a terrible disease while he was a Christian. Didn't get healed. He called it a thorn in his side. God said there are going to be hardships. I mean, there just are. Like, I'd love to tell you that if you pay $100, you're, all your problems will magically go away, but this is the real world. God doesn't take the storm away, he gets you through it. It's a hard truth, we don't live in a perfect world. If we did, what would we need God for? That got ranty, so main points, God is good and televangelists are, uh, well, they're con artists. They are evil people. And I feel bad for anyone who's got caught in any of their traps. And from that I wanna talk about some positive news coming from the Christian Ministry Global Aid Network. That's a lot of words. And it's more of a PSA than a news story, but I really liked it. So first of all, they're a charity. They feed the poor, get shelters for people, things like that. But they put out a statement reminding people that you do not need to go overseas to serve. And I'm with them. It's like, I'm not going to Nigeria anytime soon. I guess I can't help people. But if you feel called to help people overseas and you're not about to take a plane to Madagascar, they have this thing called GAIN. It's in the description below where you can go in your city and actually help them pack lunches for people overseas. And beyond that, if you live in a big city like I do, there are homeless people in your city. You can feed them. My mom used to have these little things that she'd pass out to homeless people that had a water bottle, snacks, some hygiene stuff like a toothbrush and toothpaste. I can almost guarantee there are people hurting right where you live. And from that, we go to the final story of the day. I always have fun talking about churches and guns. And so we're talking about this church in Alabama who's opened a gun range in their backyard. And it's one of those things where I say it out loud and it sounds so wrong, but then I think about it and I'm like, I can't think of anything super wrong with that. Better to shoot a gun at a target than a person, right? There are some critics that are worried about it actually being like some form of militant Christianity, which yeah, that would be bad. But according to the church itself, they said it's no different than having a church softball team. They say that 60% of Alabama households own a gun. So why not use that culture for discipleship? And it sounds so weird to me, but then I think, you know, Geeks are the grace ministers through video games, so why not? But that is where we're gonna end today's show. So question of the day, do you think that churches should have shooting ranges in their backyards, yes or no? I wanted that you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Also make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geeky content. My name's Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news in a not so boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray. It's everybody like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.